So we talked uh, earlier about um, you know a single server and how virtualization technology is critical and the kind of workloads that run on those things as well. But um, you know we I also talked earlier about operating virtualized data centers at internet scale, at data center scale and beyond, and uh, the complexity of those kinds of environments, the nested or fractal nature of these hierarchical systems pose a great uh, deal of challenge for IT organizations who are also being squeezed by the cost of administration, the complexity of those systems. So as I said, we've addressed a lot of that on the management side, but this time at a much larger scale. Do you want to talk about XVM Op Center, Steve? Absolutely. Okay. So um, XVM Op Center is our heterogeneous management tool for both physical servers as well as now for virtual servers. And one of the things that we're introducing today is XVM Op Center 2.0. Um, so this major revision to the product includes the ability to manage XVM server, which I just showed you, in addition to existing physical servers from um, Sun as well as under ven other vendors like mm -hmm. HP, IBM, and Dell. And this capability gives us the ability to really manage across a data center and do it at internet scale. And mm -hmm. this is one of the key things it was designed for. Um, we have customers using earlier versions of our Op Center software to manage up to um, 4,000 physical systems, 50,000 cores. Um, and really from there, we're just scaling up. And we, as we see people move to the virtual world, the number of entities you need to manage only gets larger. So let me get this straight. This is a single data center mm -hmm. with 52,000 cores all being managed by this one thing? Absolutely. It's, uh, you, so somebody has to get the video of this site. It's really quite remarkable. <laughs> so, um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and flip back to our Windows laptop here and um, show you a little bit of a demo of what this looks like. Mm -hmm. So again, here's the demo we just finished up looking at XVM server. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the single server management view of this, of how do I take a virtualized server and all of the guest operating systems on it and manage it. Um, if I flip over here, again, within the same browser, I've now logged into a dedicated management server running the XVM Op Center software. And this is really the version that's designed to act at internet scale. And as you can see, the user interface is similar. We have the same view of the assets that you can manage over here, except we're managing a lot more assets. Um, we have the same viewers over here, except there are new things that we can view. And over here, you have the actions which you can take on it. And again, you get more additional actions as you move up to Op Center. So let me, but, let me understand this. If a, if a developer or an administrator downloads a XVM server with the management services we showed earlier, and then over time as it's deployed, they upgrade uh, to the commercial version of, of Op Center, uh, they'll have the same user experience. They'll be equivalently facile with operating at a data center scale. They were at the server scale. Yeah, they've been pre-trained by working yeah. with XVM. Kind of server cool. and it's just additional functionality that comes with Op Center. Yeah, we used to have server scale uh, um, items on the left hand side. Now we have entire cities and countries. Right. So, so here we have a number of different lab systems running um, inside Sun. We actually have a development team in India and we have teams in Broomfield, Colorado, where actually a lot of this technology is built as well as in San Francisco. So I can actually go to, say, one of the servers here in Colorado. I can select it. This is actually a physical server. Okay. And I can see here some of the stats about it, how much memory does it have, CPU, some of the capabilities of the server in terms of what can be managed. Um, and um, I can scroll through that. I can see all the way down here, down to things like the firmware level on the machine. This gives us the ability to, again, not just manage the virtual like you saw, but manage the physical, all the way down to the firmware, bare metal operating systems, and beyond. So yeah, let, let me make a point about that. So there's uh, a lot of talk about uh, virtualization management, all critically important, but um, XVM Op Center is designed to deal with the entire life cycle of a data center, uh, all the way from firmware pr provisioning and uh, physical virtualization or operating system provisioning to managing and live migration in the virtual world, right? right. And, and the entire life cycle, including patches and updates and upgrades, are all supported by this one um, distributed internet scale set of tools. Absolutely, and part of the way that we do this um, internet scale um, functionality is that we've designed a unique architecture into Op Center, where you can have um, distributed um, servers around different parts of your network around the globe that help take some of the management load. So for example, we have a customer that's uh, um, in the energy business. They have a central data center near Houston, and they have satellite data centers around the planet, some in, in places like Africa, mm -hmm. where there's very poor network connectivity. And in order for them to be able to manage remotely at that edge, they need something where they can push the work down there. Mm -hmm. um, and Op Center gives you that capability. And one of the things that you see here in the user interface is actually the ability to track jobs. All jobs that are created 
dedicated NOP Center. You can act on one or more machines. They can act on groups. And they're all asynchronous. You queue up the job, and then they get executed as you go. And that gives you the ability to act at scale. So you would mirror the uh, distribution and structure or topology of your data center with uh, XVM Op Center servers. And then you would push the jobs in metadata form to those sites. Then you go off and, and continue Ab to work. Absolutely. And that's critical for operating at, at global scale. It's also critical for operating in secure environments where you have multiple networks and you can place these sub um, management servers on those networks. Last bit I'll show here is just our libraries. Part of what we do manage in Op Center is the storage as mm -hmm. well as the servers. And we have different areas to store things like operating system images, firmware instances, OS updates, um, policies. All of these are stored in various storage libraries. And you can see here I have a storage library full of different firmware versions that I can go ahead and provision out to new servers. Mm -hmm. So really what this demonstrates is just the ability to use Op Center to manage a data center at internet scale. Well, there's a one more, one more piece here that um, um, uh, I just want to add, which is the complexity of these environments are getting so great that uh, the, what Steve just showed is essentially the, the ability to take some of the human element out of the provisioning and management to ensure that uh, you are in fact constructing the data center that you plan to construct by automating the, uh, the machinery that does the patching firmware upgrades uh, and ensure that you have the uh, configuration environment that you originally designed to have. Absolutely. And so it's a really very impressive uh, environment. Thanks, Steve. Cool.